Arcola's African-American mayor, who is running for re-election next weekend, says he received a noose in the mail and a threat to go along with it. But now another candidate has come forward saying he feels threatened by the mayor himself. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum in Arcola to unravel it all. Joel, a lot to unravel. Keith, you're right about that. Let's start with that issue that the mayor claims earlier in the week he was sent a noose and a threat through the mail. I talked to Arcola Police Department's chief today, and she says largely that case has been handed now to the FBI. No updates in terms of any arrests. But that is just a small sample of what is going on inside this city hall. It's just nicer out in the country, isn't it? All this shit all going on here, it's all uh, family members and, and shit that know each other. Things are just a little off kilter in Arcola, the small municipality in Fort Bend County. Council meetings are a mess, and some council members are suing the mayor. Then, earlier this week, with re-election day looming, in the mail, the mayor says he received a noose and a threat. The package had several discrepancies, such as a missing postmark and a misspelling of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Despite these discrepancies, it was confirmed to have delivered, been delivered by the United States Postal Service, leading us to treat this as a credible threat. We checked Friday, no update on the culprit, and the mayor did not return our messages. But the mayor has been on the offensive too recently. This video was posted on Facebook. You need to tell them you need to get out of this race. They play for keeps in politics. If he got some blemishes. It's directed directly at me. I see it, and the way he's wording it, it seems like he is, it's a, it's a threat to me. Chris De Los Santos uh, the, uh, is running for city council I feel and is running against a council member aligned with the current mayor. A mayor who faces an election May 4th, a court case May 7th, and disappointed citizens most other days. What is your opinion of local government? What government? Yeah, we talked to a few Arcola folks today, everyday people who say they're the ones who are taking it on the chin, but they get a say on May 4th. We're live in Arcola, Fort Bend County. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.